This video is about the teaching of realistic fiction under child and adolescent literature. Definition and Description Realistic fiction refers to stories that could indeed happen to people and animals. That is, it is within the realm of possibility that such events could occur or could have occurred. The protagonists of these stories are fictitious characters created by the author, but their actions and reactions are quite like those of real people or real animals. Sometimes, events in these stories are exaggerated or outlandish, hardly probable but definitely possible. These stories, too, fit under the definition of realistic fiction. Realism in literature is a complex, multifaceted concept. Marshall 1988 considers various components of realism in literature, including factual, situational, emotional, and social. Factual realism is provided by the description of actual people, places, and events in a book. When this occurs, the facts needs to be recorded accurately. For example, usually in historical fiction and occasionally in realistic fiction, the names and locations of actual places are included in the story with accurate and complete descriptions. Situational realism is provided by a situation that is not only possible but also quite likely often in an identifiable location with characters of an identifiable age and social class, making the whole treatment believable. Family stories are often examples of stories built on situational realism. Emotional realism is provided by the appearance of believable feelings and relationships among characters. Rite of passages or growing up stories often employ emotional realism. Social realism is provided by an honest portrayal of society and its conditions of the moment. In almost all good realistic stories, several of these components of realism occur, with varying degrees of emphasis. Contemporary realism is a term used to describe stories that take place in the present time and portray attitudes and more of the present culture. Unlike realistic books of several decades ago that depicted only happy families and were never co controversial, today's contemporary realism often focuses on current societal issues such as alcoholism, racism, poverty, and homelessness. Contemporary books still tell of the happy funny times in children's lives, but they also include the harsh and pleasant times that are, sadly, a part of many children's lives. Authors of contemporary realistic fiction set their stories in the present or recent past, but in time, features of these stories such as dialogues and allusions to popular culture, customs, and dress become dated and the stories are therefore no longer contemporary, though they may still be realistic. Other stories that obviously no longer describe today's world, though they may have once been contemporary realistic fiction, are now simply realistic fiction. Older realistic fiction stories that are considered modern classics are included in this discussion. Evaluation and Selection The criteria for evaluating realistic fiction are the same as those for any work of fiction. Well-developed characters who manifest change as a result of significant life events, a well-structured plot with sufficient conflict and suspense to hold the reader's interest, a time and place suitable to the storyline, and a worthy theme are basic literary elements expected of any work of fiction, including works of realistic fiction. Even stories that portray adverse and discouraging social situations should permit some cause of optimism. Children need to trust that problems that can be overcome or ameliorated and that the world can be a good place in which to live. 
themes in realistic stories often convey moral values such as the rewards of kindness and generosity to others. However, these moral values must not be the main reason for the story. At times, adults write books for children with the sole intent of teaching or preaching. The story itself is nothing more than a thin disguise of a heavy-handed moral lesson. The moral must not overwhelm the story but may be its logical outcome. A novel of realistic fiction must be believable and the events must be possible, even though all aspects may not be probable. Sometimes, an author goes closer to the edge of the believable range to produce a more exciting suspense-filled story. Controversy involving children's books often centers on topics that are found in realistic fiction novels, such as premarital sex, pregnancy, homosexuality, and the use of profanity. Many of these controversial books fall within the types of realism labeled moral choices and romance and sexuality in the recommended reading list in this discussion. An aspect of writing style that students greatly appreciate is humor. Although humor may be found in stories of any genre, it is more often found in realistic fiction. Humorous stories feature characters caught up in silly situations or involved in funny escapades. Voss by David Ives and The Schwa Was Here by Neil Scherzterman are good examples of humorous stories. Selection of realistic fiction for classroom and library collection and for read-alouds should be balanced among the different types of realistic stories. A steady diet of humorous read-alouds does not offer the richness of experience to children that they deserve nor does it provide for the varied reading interests of a group of children. The Edgar Allan Poe Award of, for Juvenile Mystery Novels can be helpful to you in selecting good mysteries. This award was established in 1961 by the Mystery Writers of America and is awarded annually in order to honor U.S. authors of mysteries for children. Intermediate grade children report on reading interest surveys that realistic fiction is their favorite genre. Of course, some children may prefer other categories, but realistic fiction does hold high appeal for many children at all grade levels. Types of Realistic Fiction The subject matter of realistic fiction includes the child's whole world of relationships with self and others, the joys, sorrows, challenges, adjustments, anxieties, and satisfactions of human life. Realistic books will often treat more than one aspect of human life. Thus, some realistic fiction books can be categorized by more than one of the following topics. families. Stories about the nuclear family, children and their relationships with parents and siblings are a natural subject of books for children. Childhood for most children is spent in close contact with family members. Family stories for younger children often portray a happy child with loving parents. In these stories, everyday activities from brushing teeth to cooking dinner are shown. Easy chapter books appealing to newly independent readers can be found within this type. These stories often show the child at play and sometimes explore sibling relationships as well. The King Lees and a Spin by Simon Mason and The Pepins and Their Problems by Polly Harvat are good examples of this type of book. Extended families can also be found in children's books. Aunts, uncles, grandparents, and cousins are important in the real lives of many children and may also be enjoyed in stories written for children. The alternative family of today's world is also depicted in family stories. Not all family stories present traditional intact families. Separation, divorce, single parent families, adoptive families, four star families, and reconstructed families of step parents and stepchildren are often the backdrop of stories today. For example, see Being Deep by Katherine Bateson and The Penderwicks on Gardam Street by Jean Birdsong. 
the difficulty children and adults encounter in adjusting to these new family situations becomes the primary conflict in some stories. It is important for children to see families other than the typical mother-father to children portrayed positively in books. Fears In addition to adapting to one's family situation, children must also learn to cope with their peers. Many realistic stories show children struggling for acceptance by peers in a group situation. School settings are common in these stories. Examples include Just Grace by Therese M. Harper and Fame and Glory in Freedom, Georgia by Barbara O'Connor. Bullying by peers can be damaging to the self-esteem of those targeted. Angry outbursts by those being humiliated is not infrequent and at times can be frightening. Literature can provide an opportunity to address these issues by developing an awareness and understanding of the harm caused by and by encouraging more compassion towards those who are targeted for some real or perceived difference. In Wendelin Van Ranen's Secret Identity, Nolan, a fifth grade outsider, becomes fed up with the school bully and finds an ingenious way to expose the bully's misdeeds. Although the treatment is humorous and lighthearted, the problem can be raised in discussion of the book. Developing close friendships is another focus of stories about peer relationships. Friends may be of the same sex or the opposite sex, of the same age or very different age, or of the same culture or different culture. A concern for friendship and how to be good friends are shared traits of these stories. Bird Lake Moon by Kevin Henkes, Ansi Dust Time by Neil Schusterman and Emma Jean Lazarus Fell Out of a Tree by Lauren Tarashis are a good example of this type of book. Physical, Emotional, Mental, and Behavioral Challenges Many children must deal with difficult challenges in their lives. Some children have disabilities. Others have a family member or a friend with a disability. These disabilities may be physical, such as scoliosis, emotional, such as bipolar disorder, mental, such as mental retardation or learning disabilities, behavioral, such as hyperactivity, or a combination of these. Yet children do not like to appear different or strange to others. Authors of children's books are becoming increasingly sensitive to the need for positive portrayals of individuals with special challenges. Well-written, honest stories of such individuals in children's books can help other children gain an understanding of disabilities and empathize with people who have disabilities. As inclusion of special education students into regular classrooms becomes a more common practice, this trend in children's literature can be an important educational resource. As examples, Sincha Lord's Rules includes as minor characters an autistic brother and a paraplegic friend of the protagonist, Catherine, and in Sarah Weeks' So Be It, the protagonist Heidi lives with her developmentally disabled mother and is cared for by her neighbor, who is Ago Rapovic. Communities Part of growing up involves the discovery of one's membership in a community, a group extending beyond the family. In some children's books, we find school settings in which students, teachers, and administrators, and at times parents, comprise the community. Helen Frost's novel told through 22 poetic forms, Spinning Through the Universe, a novel in poems from Room 214, shows students, the teacher, and the custodian writing their thoughts about the school and other topics. In other books, the community setting is the neighborhood. Examples are Janet MacDonald's novels, Chill, Wind, Twist, and Turns, and Spellbound, about a community of teens living in urban housing projects, a community not often featured in juvenile novels. Community extends beyond country to communities around the world. With increasing interdependence among countries, young people will likely to be more connected to an international community than ever before. Books set in foreign countries about life in another culture can help children and adolescents develop an awareness of and kinship towards people from other countries and an appreciation for people whose lives differ from their own. Examples include Col Colibri by Anne. Cameron, Shabanu, Daughter of the Wind by Suzanne Fisher Staples, and Africa by Colleen Craig. An 
animals. Animal stories remain an ever-popular genre with children, dog and horse stories being the most popular. In realistic animal stories, the animal protagonist behaves like an animal and is not personified. Usually, a child is also a protagonist in these stories. Examples are Because of Winnie Dixie by Katie Cambillo and Diamond Duello by Helen Frost. Sports Sports stories often present a story in which a child protagonist struggles to become accepted as a member of a team and thus eventually succeed through determination and hard work. The Boy Who Saved Baseball by John R. Ritter is a good example of a sports story. Although traditionally written with boys as the main characters, some sports stories are now available that feature girls as protagonists such as Don Fitzgerald's Soccer Chick Goose. Mr. Beast Mr. Beast, popular with boys and girls, range from simple whodunits to complex character stories. The element of suspense is a strong part of the appeal of these stories. Mr. Beast have won more State Children's Choice Awards than any other type of story, a fact that suggests that Mr. Beast are truly favorites of many children. See Chasing Vermeer by Blue Ballier and Evil Genius by Catherine Jinx. Three recent series of interest to mystery readers are The Bloodwater Mystery, beginning with Snatched by Pete Hotman and Mary Log, The 39 Clues beginning with The Maze of Bones by Rick Riordan, and The Boy Sherlock Holmes series beginning with Eye of the Crow by Shane Peacock, and established series with the female protagonist in Sammy Keys series beginning with Sammy Keys and the Hotel Thief by Wendelin Van Drainen remains popular with new mysteries published annually. Moral Choices Characters in many realistic fiction novels face moments of crisis, situations of great difficulty, or events in which a decision may change someone's life. These situations are often similar to those that children will face in their lives. Through these stories, children can understand the difficult decisions the character is faced with and can discuss the consequences that may result from the choice made. Teachers often select these books for class study with intermediate and middle grade students. Using a book in which a character is faced with a difficult moral choice can stimulate lively discussions. An example is Priscilla Cummings' Red Kayak in which a 13-year-old boy faces a conflict between doing the right thing or remaining loyal to his friends. Moralizing and preaching are seldom appreciated by children. Literary works for the purpose of character education should meet the same standards for good literature as all other selections. If the moral or lesson overpowers the story, many children will resist the obvious preaching and balk at reading such stories. Children went to read powerful stories that excite them, amuse them, and inspire them. Romance and Sexuality Romance stories are popular with preteens and teens, especially girls. Some stories depict boy-girl friendships as in Flipped by Wendelin Van Drainen, The Possibilities of Sainthood by Donna Freitas, Undercover by Beth Kephart, Runaround by Helen Hemphill, and Deep Down Popular by Phoebe Stone. Since the 1990s, more stories of characters dealing with pregnancy and teenage parenting have appeared. Some realistic examples are Virginia Ewer Wolf's Make Lemonade, Sylvia Austin's The Girl with the Baby, and Angela Johnson's The First Part Last. Children become aware of their growing sexuality during preteen and teen years as they begin to mature. Some stories for older teens show attraction between members of the opposite sex as well as members of the same sex, with the beginning of sexual activity sometimes depicted in relationships. Stories that portray the struggle of young people coming to terms with a homosexual or lesbian sexual orientation are seen more frequently than they were in the past. Other stories show the cruelty of society toward young homosexuals or lesbians. See Split Screen by Brent Hartinger and So Hard to Say by Alex Sanchez.
coming of age. From birth to age 10, most children's lives revolve around family, friends, and classmates, but during the preteen and teen years, a shift toward self-discovery and independence occurs. Rapid growth and change are seen in the physical, emotional, moral, and intellectual domains of life. These changes are reflected in books for adolescents and are referred to as coming-of-age stories. Sometimes, books that deal with the trials and tribulations encountered during growth from childhood to adulthood are called rite of passage books. A rite of passage refers to an event in one's life that signals a change from child to adult. Examples of rite of passage books are Olive's Oceans by Kevin Henkes and Sheep by Jennifer Bradbury. Adventure and Survival Facing physical danger, an external force, also contributes to the maturing process. Stories of survival and adventures are ones in which the young protagonist must rely on will and ingenuity to survive a life-threatening situation. Although most survival stories are set in isolated places, a growing number are being set in cities where gangs, jaguars, and abandonment are life-threatening. Adventure stories may be set in an environment where the protagonist has freedom of action. Wilderness by Roddy Doyle and The Maze by Will Hobbs are examples of this type of book. Stories in the realistic fiction genre present familiar situations with which children can readily identify, often reflect contemporary life, and portray settings not so different from the homes, schools, towns, and cities known to today's children. The protagonists of these stories are frequently testing themselves as they grow toward adulthood. Young readers can therefore empathize and gain insight into their own predicament. Your challenge will be to stay abreast of good realistic stories in order to provide a wide range of books that will entertain, encourage, and inspire your students. And that ends our discussion on realistic fiction and our child and adolescent literature. Please do not forget to like and subscribe on this channel.